and electricity don't mix unless you are fishing. A revolutionary boat which electronically stuns fish is being tested in the Waikato to help in the fight against pest fish that are taking over New Zealand's lakes and waterways. The boat is particularly effective because it can be used to discriminate against pest species so the natives live. High-tech pest control zaps a goldfish, catfish and rudd on Lake Serpentine near Hamilton. An electric current stuns the fish which float to the surface where the pest species are scooped out. We're trying out the boat, zapping the fish and seeing whether um, our previous work uh, netting the fish has in fact worked or not. The boat is being used to check the results of an experiment in netting, which nets are the most effective way to rid over on waterways of pest fish. What we've got here today is the final part of two years of research where we've been looking at the effectiveness of nets as a, a means for controlling pest fish in small lake systems. The boat is particularly effective because it doesn't kill the fish. It just leaves them stunned. The native species can be left in the water to recover while the pests are gathered up. And the reason why we're so excited about it is that it's highly selective. We can choose between capturing a fish that's an unwanted fish or um, from taking the native fish. So um, the, the electric current stuns them, uh, stuns all fish, and we're able to select from there what sort of fish we want to pull out. A helicopter has to be used to transport the boat around because these lakes are not accessible by road. This is about getting smarter. It's about getting another tool in our toolbox to, um, to remove these fish. So we're re really excited to see whether this electrofishing boat um, is in fact a useful and effective tool at removing pest fish um, from our region's waterways. Electric fishing may turn out to be the way of the future for pest eradication, but it's not likely to catch on in sporting circles. Zapping a trout just wouldn't be the same. Sharon Ferguson, 3 News.